seven. Somebody could be trying to get someone's attention or something could just be, um, somebody could be getting a message that something is, is, is complete. So somebody could have been waiting on something. Um, occupation, family room, for person, toy, or labor. Ooh. Somebody finding out some secrets about a forced person. Mm-hmm. Somebody who they possibly was working with. Where's the Holy Spirit? Somebody want to message you, Sun Seeds. Yeah. C or M could be something of it as well. I feel like whoever this person is, they try reaching out to you. They try, um, they try calling you. Somebody could be sending a text message or an email. Ooh, more Holy Spirit. Child. Something could be ending because somebody was childish. Or something could be in regards to a child. Somebody could have been waiting on a letter in regards to a child, distant horizon. Something is coming towards someone. A message, community, mature man, despair. Whoever this mature man is that's in despair, this mature man has a message that they want to share with you. Mm -hmm. It's like some you know, main male, despair, concern. Somebody is real out of sudden wealth. Marriage, expertise. Somebody feels cold. Somebody could have done somebody. Somebody could have um, treated somebody real cold, real awfully. But this community mature man, this spirit, not hiring. Somebody feel like they lost a lot. They home, they stability. For dealing with a forced person. Somebody could have walked away. Um, this could be somebody's child, uh, the parent of their child. Maybe they walked away from their family and chose somebody else that wasn't even worth working with. And now someone is in despair because somebody could be finding out that somebody had moved on, possibly got married or in a commitment or will be in, will be in a commitment. Somebody is sad and bitter about it. Somebody is hearing some type of message. Mm -hmm. this, this somebody is hearing some type of message that somebody has let go. They have released them. Your yeah, unexpected income, adjudication, official person. Whoever this official person is is about to get a gift. Yeah, somebody is about to receive a gift. Birthday man. It's giving me an energy where somebody was gossiping, talking about somebody. Okay. Somebody was talking about somebody. Somebody was gossiping about somebody. This could be someone you know. Um, or someone you haven't, with this distant horizon, someone you haven't seen in a long time. Somebody was gossiping about somebody. Talking down about somebody. Only to realize that this person is the official person. This person is about to receive a gift. Yeah, somebody is realizing, like, <laughs> all that negativity, all that gossiping, whatever they was doing, it actually worked out in, in this official person's favor. Yeah, it is. It worked out in your favor, Sunseeds. Mm -hmm. And somebody's in despair about it because whoever they chilled with or whoever they laid up with was fake and false. Give me the Holy Spirit. Divinely guided messages. Let's get some Holy Spirit. Let's get some messages. Let's see. Get some more from this person. Confusion. I feel uncle unclear about where we stand. Whoever this person is, this could be somebody in your family. This could be an ex. Take it how it resonates. So it sees. But somebody wants to reach out to you because they're unclear of where you guys stand. I feel like if it distance between you guys for a while, 
um, it's been separation. You haven't talked to this person in a while. They haven't talked to you in a while. And it could have been just because this person was being very childish or this could be someone who you shared children with or children could be involved when it comes to um, whatever this connection is for you. Okay. Somebody is very confused about where you guys stand. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me somebody done. Bro, the check they asked for the cash. Somebody was gossiping. You know, with the fourth person about an energy that is actually the official person. Somebody about to watch somebody glow up. Mm-hmm. And it started reaching out with this message card. You know what? I'm going to keep going because I'm trying to right now. Mistakes. I wish I could write my wrongs. Yes. And study just, I was going to say, it's study just reaching out to you. Okay. To find out where you guys stand. Somebody took it upon themselves to gossip about somebody. Talk about somebody to somebody else. It could have been to a group of people. And it's like now that the damage is done, now somebody want to speak to you. But you know what this person did. With that adjudication card, that's always in my spirit what you call it. Divine, they know. Whatever they was doing down here in the 3D, this, in the spiritual realm, they already knew. They already knew how this person, everything was going to play out. This person could be under judgment. Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Because somebody is looking at you. This person could be um, having problems. Because I see the house of poverty. They could be having problems when it comes to their bills and their home. Um, just their stability overall. And somebody is watching you have this major glow up. Um, get this unexpected gift. Somebody is seeing that somebody is happy. Oh, will be. What's this mistake? I wish I could raise my wrong. Somebody could have left somebody when they was down. I didn't even wow, regret. I wish this never happened. Yeah, I just looked at that card and I and I just see in my third eye when I looked at this message card. Somebody could have left somebody when they was down. Regret. I wish this never happened. Somebody is tripping. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody is tripping. And this person wants to travel towards you. And I feel like at one point in time, give me a call on the child. This person was being childish. Like I said, ch children can be involved, but I just feel like at one point in time, um, with the child card, somebody could have been being um, childish. Corfit and privileged lady. Mm. So something is coming to an end when it comes to a marriage. Somebody could have felt guided um, to leave something, leave something behind, close out a cycle with someone. It's giving me somebody is being led. Like they're not listening to their heart. Somebody is. Um, I mean, they're not. They're not. Um, well, I heard they're not listening to their heart. So somebody could have not been listening to their heart before in the past and made a wrong decision and chose a forced person and now they in regret. Could have possibly even married this person. But somebody is not going by what they see in their, in their, in, um, in their eyes. That somebody is listening to their soul. So somebody could not have no tangible proof that this person is a forced person. Somebody just feels like they feel it in their soul. And you know when you feel stuff on a soul level, like if you know, if you be around certain energies that just irritate your soul, that is something right there that just like, it raises your antenna. Like, like this person doesn't sit right with my soul, you know? I may not see it physically, don't have no physical proof about this person, but something just don't sit right in my soul, you know, on a soul level. Yeah, I can't make it a family room. There's some type of secrets. Yeah, family room um, and change. Something is changing. Somebody is seeing something about some about a privileged lady. Some other um, this could be like the Queen of Pentacles. Someone who they married with the coffee card could be the death. 
um, Scorpio energy. Child is nothing but pages. Six of swords. I mean, a distant horizon is a six of swords. Somebody is being um, guided to move away from a situation to leave something behind. Mm-hmm. And now somebody feels like they're in despair because they feel like it's too it's too late. They want to message you about how, how regretful they feel, you know, about dealing with whatever the situation was. Somebody feel like they made a mistake and they want to right their wrongs with you. Somebody feel like they can't let you go. Give me a card to let this the Holy Spirit. Somebody feels like nobody gets them but you. But when they was doing what they was doing, they should have been clear to you. It's like somebody worked with the with the wrong energy that was a false person. And now I heard they miss you. This and horizons was clarified with house. So maybe you guys live in different towns, different states, different countries. But somebody is um, traveling told you because they want, um, excuse me, like somebody wants to like reconcile a celebration, a commitment. What's the distant horizon house? Somebody is releasing something, walking away from um, a connection to go towards another one. What's the house, Holy Spirit? Thank you. The house is clear out with the gift. I'm telling you. Somebody is walking away, ending something, um, ending one situation to go towards a person who they, they they can't get the hell out of their mind. Let's get this card. Yeah, male, female. Somebody want their man by Yeah. <laughs> Confirmation. Somebody want their main thing. Like, yeah, this person could have possibly married someone who they who they just ended it with. They don't, mm -mm. If this was a marriage, this is marriage is over. Somebody does not want nothing to do with this connection anymore. Somebody could have been trying to work things out with their baby mother or their baby father. But somebody is bringing, um, this is like the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, somebody is coming and um, bring you an offer. Hoping that you won't refuse it. Mature woman in imprisonment. Whoever this mature woman is could have had this person stuck. Or had this person feeling stuck. Because the privileged lady, the coffin, that's like the queen of pinnacles for me. That could be somebody's wife or it could be somebody's mother. But somebody um, was trying to keep somebody stuck or bonded to them. Somebody know that um, this person um, had uh, plans on traveling towards this official person. Somebody knew that. Damn, somebody didn't want to see somebody. Somebody didn't want to see somebody gift you with something. Mm. Unsatisfied. I was not happy the way things were going. Mm. Somebody, somebody stayed and settled for a connection, gave someone a commitment, possibly put a child up in them, because they was they was afraid to give you the commitment. They didn't want to give you. They didn't. Somebody didn't want to do the work on themselves. They didn't want to do the work on themselves. They didn't want to give you the proper commitment. So somebody literally settled and went somewhere else that they didn't have to do much work. Possibly could have married this person, even put a baby up in this person while you guys was in separation. Because somebody felt like, you know, being with you, they would have to do the work. They they couldn't just, they just couldn't just give you anything. You understand? That wasn't going to fly with you. Now somebody is in regret that this stuff have, ever happened between you guys. I wish I could right my wrongs. Runner, I don't want to run anymore. Yeah, I knew it. Somebody ran. Wow. Somebody could have literally possibly marry someone or 
not legally just give someone a commitment and put a child up in them. Oh, damn. Confirmation. Yeah, but somebody was ending that. They don't want to be with a guy. They don't want to be with a relationship with this person. They don't want to live with this person. Um, you know, possibly. Okay. Let's get some more. This is somebody want to message you. Somebody ran. The things got a little thick and they felt like they was going to have to. The pressure was. This person, whoever this, they don't do well under pressure. You might be someone who does very great under pressure. This person right here, they don't. Mm -mm. But somebody had some realization about a false person that was very secretive. Like somebody is no longer guessing. They they just ending it. I, this person could have possibly, because I heard earlier, somebody is not seeing something with their eyes. They they go on whatever, how they feel on the, on, the, on the soul level. So maybe somebody was waiting for like a page of pentacles, like um, somebody was waiting for some proof or receipts about a situation. Somebody like, nah, this, should, this, this, this is going to sit right with me. Like, I'm in love with a whole other person that I could have possibly created a feeling with someone else because I was too scary to do the goddamn work. Give me one of I want to have, I want to have, I want to have equal give and take. Now, this, this, this is the Six of Pentacles. Ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Yeah? Somebody let their ego and their pride get in the way. This person could have had a, a death of the ego. Somebody did what, what felt good um, to the ego. They, they, they fed their flesh. Somebody wasn't ready to do the work. Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Damage. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. Unworthy. You are a better person than I am. Third party. There was another. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Sure was. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Destiny. Huh. That's what I'm saying. Somebody feels like they took you for granted. Mm-hmm. And this person, this person is very aware that they possibly caused some type of damage. Somebody could be dealing with like legal issues or something. Something could not be. This person could be receiving bad karma. I'm hearing somebody talks filthy about someone. They was gossiping. They was gossiping at a distance about someone. Somebody was trying to get people to see it. See it like um, if 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 they was um, if they was a good person and you was the bad person. Something caught up with them. Yeah, responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional. Yeah, somebody's going through it. Yeah. Some this new chapter, this person is trying to come towards you. Reminiscing, I miss I miss our inside jokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody racked up a lot of karma for themselves. Being mean to someone, talking about someone, gossiping about someone. Instead of just saying that I was an F up, you know, I didn't do the right thing, I wasn't ready. I was egotistical, prideful. I was putting on an act, acting like I didn't care, acting like this person was a bad person, you know, just so I could have my way, just so I could, you know, talk about them to, I mean, talk about you to other people so people could see you a whole nother light, okay? Just to fill my ego up so I don't feel bad about what I have done to this gifted person. Ooh, shout. Hmm. Now spirit is sending this person. This child also giving me the page of cups. This person is really a fan. They admire you. Somebody come back to apologize. That's what this is. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody is very aware of what they've done to you. 
Look, I told you. What did I say? That child card is giving me like the page of cups. Somebody's coming back to apologize. They said, is it too late to apologize? Thank you, spirit. I feel like you guys, like, you're like Mystic Sunflower. When I decided to give this person a chance, I never needed this person, you know? I just wanted them. And this person showed these behind. Give me one Holy Spirit. This gives me, like, a friend of me as well. Somebody was saying that they needed time to make a decision. They needed time. They just needed, you know, this is just only a separation. You know, I just need time to make a decision to figure out what I want. The whole time somebody done started a whole goddamn thing over. Mm -hmm. And thought you was going to chase them because they was out here. They was the runner. You didn't chase them at all. You're the gift. You're the gift. You're the treasure. Why would you ever chase anyone? It's giving me Empress vibes, man or woman. You don't chase, you attract. I don't know who, I don't know who this person thought they were. To not only get a gift, but play mind games, childish games, and think that you was going to chase behind them when spirit already confirmation, when spirit already blessed them. Who this clown think they are? I can feel your energy even when we are apart. Mm. So this could be a very spiritual connection. No one compares to you. No, they don't. You are you are my forever love. This person is saying they have a surprise for you. That's what I'm saying. This person is coming to gift you with something. Somebody feels like, like you was the realest on the team, you know? You was with them through all different types of shit that they have been through. And it just it's just crazy how thing how this person changed up on you, Sunseeds. But now they want to make their own. Give me more Holy Spirit. You have the most beautiful soul. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I told you it's something I heard earlier. Somebody is not seeing something through their eyes. Somebody is seeing something through their soul. This person could be awakening. They could be going through a, a rebirth as well with this death card, with this coffin card being in. This person is saying they feel your energy when you guys are apart. Like, no matter the distance, this person feels your energy. You could have known this person since you was very young. Could have grown up with this person. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, I have a surprise for you. That's that that's that ace of cups. I mean ace of cups. Wow. Could be ace. <laughs> ace of cups. Um, but it's a gift. Someone wants to bring you a love offer. Mm hmm Hoping that you would not turn back. Like will not turn them down. Yeah, I'm hiding my true feelings from you. You knew that. You knew that, Sassy. You knew that the whole time. Mm-hmm. How did they true feeling somebody was definitely gossiping? It came back out. I'm hiding my true feelings for you. This person if you think this person um doesn't care, not concerned, that's a lie. Okay? That's a lie, so seeds. This person pretends very well. Possibly could have even been pretending that they was happy in a whole nother situation. Now, whoever this older person is, somebody could have been feeding their ego. Oh no, you know, you're right. That person, that person not on your level. That person's not good enough for you. Or oh no, you don't need to be with that person. Like somebody fed somebody ego. But somebody, at the end of the day, you still got to sit with yourself. When the lights go out and it's time to go to bed, you got to sit with yourself. I mean, I mean sit with yourself. You got to sit with the truth. You can lie to whoever.
manipulate whatever, run circles on whoever. But when new lights turned out, when you got to lay down at night, you got to sit with the truth. Somebody was out here lying to someone, saying how they didn't love someone, possibly, how they didn't care about someone, how they didn't want to be in a commitment with someone, how they didn't want to... Somebody was just scared. I don't even want to beat this person down because this is not what I'm here to do. Let me light my stage. Somebody was just scared. We're not even going to do that. Light the stage. I feel it strongly, Sunsteed. Somebody was just scared. Somebody was scared. Yeah, maybe this person is not used to anyone like you. Never met anyone like you before. They were scared. Mm-hmm. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody was scared, Sunsteed. This person is walking away from toxic situations. And possibly it could be someone who they share children with. Or it could be their, their mama. Um, um, an um, older relative who they, you know, they take advice from, they listen to. I shouldn't have let you go. I just heard somebody say that, uh, somebody saying that it, um, it wasn't worth the karma. But it says, I shouldn't have let you go. But I just heard it wasn't worth the karma. I like the, f listen to me, Linda, Linda. Somebody, they could be Linda. It says, I like that you are different from the rest. I told you, somebody was scared. They were scared. They were scared. You know, somebody wasn't used to your type. And somebody was ready, somebody ready to reunite. And they want to impress you. <laughs> somebody could be, um, somebody still on the, somebody could literally be, Get down on one knee, proposing to someone. Because somebody's in love. Somebody's in love. But because they wasn't used to someone, and study like, you know, taking that leap of faith, the food card, you know, someone was just like, it's like the idea of someone, just, it felt so good, it set so right with them. But it scared the shit. Ooh, it scared to them. It scared them. So what they did, they wanted to free themselves, okay? Possibly could have hooked up with somebody new, you know, who they was flirting with or whatever. Somebody just felt like it was just like, it was better to settle. Mm -hmm. So they separated themselves from you. Now they want to come back around because somebody realized that. I heard I was a coward. Wow, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Both of you guys are earth angels. I see the wings on both of you guys' back. This is a very spiritual connection. Both of you guys are earth angels. Somebody could have been a fallen angel, you know, and, and, and when they when they departed from you. Because I heard earlier it wasn't worth all the karma. I feel like you brought this person peace. So with these blue eyeshadows and this blue shirt she has on, not only you brought this person peace, I feel like you tried to communicate, you tried to speak to this person like, you know, what's going on, you know? Somebody was just cold. But somebody wants you to trust them. You might be, you might feel like, you know, you got to keep, you know, something, because it's a red ribbon around her, her arm, something about a red flag. Maybe you have proof that this person um cheated or lied to you. Where they, they can't deny it. I feel like you got some type of proof. I feel like you was faithful to this energy. And now somebody want to right their wrongs. They do. Yeah, look. 
reconciliation under the bottom. I can't make it up. Mm. Let's get some um Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. Wow. So first card out we have is a nine of swords. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You can lie to whoever you want to do, lie to, manipulate whoever you want to manipulate, but at the end of the day, at night, you got to sit with the truth. And whatever this person did, to have somebody in a nine of swords, that means that they, they know what they did. They know what they did because they worried and they bothered. It, it, it possibly could be giving this person anxiety. We have the justice card, which is Libra energy. Skills about to be balanced out. Um, this person could be receiving karma. Because I heard earlier, it wasn't worth the karma. Six of swords. I feel like you gave this person real, real unconditional uh, love. And you moved away to common waters. This person could have possibly played with fire and got burned. You know? Realizing that <laughs> they had, they, they, you know, they had the whole thing. Somebody feel like you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. Maybe you used to maybe you used to reach out to this person or try to communicate with this person or be the first one to initiate, you know, the conversation, but you're not doing that. Somebody feel like you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. Give me more Holy Spirit. Could be dealing with an air sign, heavy swords. Somebody is realizing the truth. Give me more Holy Spirit. I told you, page of cups. They want to apologize. Somebody feels like they got to make it up to you in this lifetime. I'm telling you. Somebody feels like they got to make it up to you. This person actually reminds you. Give me a card on the page of cups. Empress. I told you they admire you, Empress. Listen, Empress. Listen. It only you gotta be an empress to do it like that. You got to be. You have the most beautiful soul in friends. This person actually admires you. The higher friend to the devil. Ooh, chat. Ooh, child. Somebody could have been, you know, stuck through the hair now, you know, when it comes to leaving the old toxic behind, you know, to walk into this this light. Somebody also could have gotten a um a karmic relationship that we able we seen. I told you. And somebody is ending that privileged lady with a coffin. Somebody could have possibly married or gotten a commitment with a Capricorn or a Taurus. Somebody is leaving five of pinnacles. Somebody is leaving it out in the cold. Somebody walking away. Somebody realized somebody's toxic as hell. And then they want to come running back to the Empress and apologize. Somebody had to um Walk away from toxic cycles. This person could come next to you until that was cleared down, son Steve. So give me a call in the Six of Swords, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. Damn! Somebody about to speak some type of truth to you. Somebody about to pull their heart out. Somebody's in love with you. This person sees you and it's not a pinnacles. Very abundant, self-sufficient, self-made, hardworking. Whatever you whatever you do, you got it. You, you, you started from scratch. The not a pinnacles, the, the emperor, somebody feels like you can know probably live a very um a very luxurious, you know, beautiful life. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. This person is coming towards. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do. Somebody was confused before. They were. Yes, Shrek. I'm gonna be honest, it intimidated somebody. Ugh. 
Somebody never met someone as confident, as strong, male or woman, somebody that have so much love for themselves. So pure, good hearted. It scared the shit out of this person. Somebody must be used to dealing with like um um like bad people. Like not bad people, like karmics. Well, yeah, it did say I'm walking away from toxic situations. I'm toxic, um, yeah, I'm walking away from toxic situations. So, damn, just imagine somebody only dealing with nothing but karmas and, and toxic people. And then you meet this confirmation. You meet this beautiful, beautiful spirit person, and they come in your life. But you don't, you never see, you never, um, you're not familiar with this type of, um, energy or, 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 or connecting with anyone on a soul level. So you, you think, is they fake? Is they real? What do they want from me? Is they like everybody else? That's what I'm saying. We're not here to beat this person up because somebody was actually grown man or woman take our rest and somebody was scared. Somebody was scared. So it was better to do what they was used to doing, you know, or, or settling for what they was used to settling for to, to deal with this type of energy because you intimidated this person. You, you shined the light on this person. You help this person even actually want to be a better person. Somebody need this. Somebody just like, I need to know that you're still mine. I need to know that we can still have this, you know, this commitment. Um, possibly for some of you guys, um, the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. Somebody going from single to married. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. You're going to receive some type of truth about this person. And when this person come in pouring their heart and feelings, you're going to be like, I haven't talked to this person in so long, Mystic Sunflower, with the distant horizon. Yeah, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. Give me a card on the justice. This is your good karma. This is your good karma. It's giving me nothing but brand new beginnings. Justice is clarified with the Six of Cups. So this all could have happened in the past. This is somebody who you share a past life connection with. Something from that happened to you in the past, Sunseeds, is now, you're now getting justice right now for it. You're about to get justice. Oh, yes. Three of Wands. The High Priestess. Mm -mm. Something is coming in for you. Um, high priestess, you could have been waiting for this justice to come through. <laughs> you could have been waiting. Well, here's your brand new beginning, baby. Give me a card on the, um, give me another card on the Six of Cups, Justice. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. Uh, there was definitely a third party, though. Give me a card on the, the Three of Pentacles. Somebody could have worked with somebody, um, you know, teamed up and worked with somebody in the past, okay, to, to, to come against you or do something, you know, do something that, that was an injustice to you. Four Pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. This person is, whoever this person is from the past is holding on to you tight because they want, to, they want this with you. They want to work with you. They just know that they had to do the right thing. They got to do justice card. Hey, they got to do the right thing, the fair justice thing, to come apologize to you, tell you, with the Ace of Swords, tell you every single thing that happened, apologize to you. Um, meanwhile, and that's how spirit, that's what your guys is here. Your spirit guys, Ace of Swords, that, that's how they coming. Come, come correct or don't come at all. You know, you're about to receive a message. High Priestess. Whatever was hitting, it needs to be out. What's the Nine of Swords? I feel like whoever this person from their past, they always tried to hold on. Even when y'all was in separation, they always tried to hold on to you energetically because with the Three of Pentacles being here, somebody knew that they wanted to work with you. They just didn't know how and when. It's something about the time it wasn't right. Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wanted to invest. They always knew that. Was a nine of swords. It was something that was standing in the way. Somebody always knew you was the one. King of Wands. Yeah, what they the nine of swords clarified with the King of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Libra, Taurus energy. 
somebody in their head about some type of action. Somebody could have felt like they took too long to take action. Or because they didn't take action. Give me a card on the King of Wands. King of Wands. The Moon card. It's going to be a mother. Intuition, Divine Feminine. I don't know why I just said mother. The Moon card. Look at this black thing down here. Try to get from the waters. Like somebody was fighting their own demons. And they was hiding that from you. What's the move? The Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, Judgment, Queen of Cups. Something is changing. Somebody is no longer staying stuck in a community or a family or a relationship that they don't want to be in with. I'm telling you, with a Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Swords. Yeah, this person, whoever this, somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck. Four Cups. Yeah, they didn't want this person to reconcile with you, be with you. Somebody wanted somebody to miss out on the opportunity. What's the Moon card? And this could have been somebody real close under their nose. What's the, what's the Moon card? The Moon card? The moon card is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Whoever it is, um, whoever this King of Wands is, um, even though they didn't take action towards you, Sunsees, they actually they was hiding their feelings for you. They was. You probably thought because oh they didn't take action, they didn't come to me soon enough. They don't care. They doing this. They doing that. No, they but they hide. They hide the emotions very well. And that's one thing about a Queen of Cups or King of Cups. Yes, they very intuitive. Emotionally mature, loving, caring, nurturing, all of that good stuff. But one thing about the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, they do have um, no shade. They have a tendency sometimes of they feel some type of way, but they're holding their emotions back. And sometimes they also can hold grudges. Yeah, if somebody, if they felt like somebody hurt, like somebody could have been holding on to something. But, but, but with the situation here, somebody would just hold it back their emotions. Somebody was trying to please, like, somebody, um, possibly in their family. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Holy Spirit. Thank you. King of Pentacles. Somebody in their family that depends on them. This person could have definitely been married. This person could have been married. And was trying to get out of a marriage, and somebody was trying to keep them as a stillmate. Somebody did not. Somebody wanted out of this commitment, this marriage, or whatever. And somebody was trying to keep them as a still. Somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck because they knew that somebody was in love with you and they wanted to come towards you. But this person couldn't make the right move because this person was already in a commitment. What's the Ace of Swords? That's what I'm saying. They got to come and tell you the whole truth. I just heard nothing but the truth. Ace of Swords play about with the Queen of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So this person could have came on some like this person finds you very um very attractive, very beautiful. This person sees you as the truth. They know they have to speak some type of truth to you. We have counterparts out here, King and Queen of Wands. This person could have um you could have felt like this person was trying to like you know it's giving me like two very attractive people. You sleep together. Somebody you know. Know the right words to say, but then it's just like, all right, what's something about him? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. I know I'm getting at it. It's like somebody's like real flighty. Like, you think you're going to come in, you know, sleep with me, and then go back to, you know, to your family or your mama, your papa, whoever. Whoever you feel like you got obligations to. No. Spirit, like, no. This Knight of Wands energy, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, that's why that person didn't invest in before in the past. They didn't invest before in the past because they were juggling. They was juggling. Yes, they was. Mm-hmm. And, and, and still trying to... But see, this person knew whoever they was with, they was trying to get out of, they was trying to get out of a, relationship, a relationship with someone. You know? 
they were trying to get it. Maybe they got, um, this person was trying to like get some money out of them. Maybe they knew this person was money hungry. This person was going to take them for everything. That's probably how they felt. So somebody could have been trying to play it cool. But they were selfish because they was, they was in a whole other situation, but still trying to hold on to you energetically because they knew that they wanted to work with you. They knew they wanted to collab with you, but they were just trying to figure out how the hell they're going to get out of the situation. So they hid their feelings for you because they was juggling. Six of Wands, the Magician, to the Nine of Cups. Somebody manifested you. Mm -hmm. This person manifests you. This person sees you as like they wish fulfillment. What's the Knight of Swords, Holy Spirit? The Death card. Something is changing. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Magician. This person's a manifest of the ass. They way out of a whole connection, too. <laughs> Something is changing. This person is now single. Mm -hmm. This person don't want to juggle no more. You ain't heard me. <laughs> to the bottom. This person don't want to juggle no more. What's the magician? The magician. The high friend. This person's trying to manifest a commitment with you. A connection. What's the death card? Somebody wants you around. The death card is clarified with the hermit. Scorpio Virgo energy. What's the hermit? This person could have been in solitude for a while. King of Swords. Mm, yeah. This person may gone through a transformation. They've been a hermit. You haven't heard from this person. But when you do hear from this person, this person got a lot they got to say. They're going to speak the truth. And they ain't about to hold no punches. They not. Somebody not, yeah, the lovers, they not about to hold no punches to the tower. <sighs> Give me a call in the higher friend. Ten of Pentacles, damn. Yeah, somebody is about to, um, the Ten of Pentacles is uh, marriage, um, generational wealth, inheritance. Four of Wands, there. Give me somebody's um, twin, twin flame. Um, high level soulmate is giving me as well. Somebody sees you as a powerhouse manifesto. They look at you and they see you as a leader. Um, somebody feels like you're very stable, you're very solid. Somebody is trying to manifest um, a commitment with you. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Give me another card. A magician. And a And they hold on to your person can be very spiritual. You and your person both, or you, you know. Yeah. Uh, somebody is um, yeah. Somebody is leaving a whole goddamn. Well, this could be a belief, an outdated belief. Um, a commitment. Somebody is. Whatever this, like, it's like when this happens, it's like this reconciliation, the tower to the three of swords, like when this happened, I said the three of swords. So, three of swords not out here, but I meant the three of cups to the tower. When this happened with this four of wands and the pinnacles, people going to be shocked. Like, oh, everybody going to be talking about this. Like, oh, sweat. They did it. They did it. I thought it was over for them. They got married. Yeah, they got married. They built a business together? Yeah. It's like that. But I said three of swords, but when I really meant three of cups. So it gives me that people are going to be hurt by two individuals coming together. I cannot make it up. People are going to be hurt by two people coming together. They're going to see something online. Something going to be global. Everybody going to know. Yeah. Yeah, look at this thing. Look. King of Cups, Eight of Swords to the World Card. Whoever this King of Cups is, they not stuck no more. They going to give they two a cup to their person. <laughs> Somebody like, hell no. This person closed out a a, a, a karmic cycle with, with toxic people. Page of Wands, that's a communication. This person studies and watch you from afar. 
eight of pentacles. Prince could possibly watch you work. Maybe you work online. You could do customer service. This is how this person is watching you work. So see, this person is watching you work. Maybe you work from home. Somebody watches you and they study you. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands to the Ten of Cups. Four Swords. See, somebody blocking out a family dynamic. Yeah, somebody is focused on their healing. Something about a fear. Five of Pentacles. Somebody is is leaving a family out in the cold because somebody realized that the people that's very close to me don't want to see me happy. Somebody could have even told somebody that they was going to bring you an offer and then immediately something got blocked. Somebody going to realize something, who the hell they talking to. Like, whoever they was talking to about you, it's like, how the hell, how the hell we get blocked? How the hell, like, somebody is going to realize something. I'm telling you, son, see? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Let's see. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Somebody got a toxic karmic that they leaving behind. Yeah, they are. Somebody realizing that there was a third party that was trying to hold them back. Somebody wanted this, this beautiful soul. Like, they just wanted them. They didn't want them to get away. They knew somebody is afraid of somebody finding marriage and being happy and, and living their best life. And something is going to happen. In your favor, Sunseeds, possibly for a lot of you guys, you're getting new love. Okay? And somebody, it's going to hurt them to see. It's going to hurt them to see you happy in a healthy connection. Okay? Because whatever manipulation, magic they were trying to do to keep you stuck, it, it didn't work. Marrying for money. Somebody is going to see. Yeah. Bankruptcy. Giving money. Mm -mm. Somebody was trying to. Oh, somebody only wanted to be with somebody because they was going through financial issues, and they felt like by marrying someone that they was going to be able to get, they was going to get some finances from. They was going to get some. They was going to get some money out of there. Whoever this privileged lady is, is saying hell to the no. Okay. Realize, like, ah, uh -uh. somebody was trying to keep you stuck for money. Somebody said hell to the no. Okay? And ended it. Yeah, somebody realized it. And, and let, let's be honest. Let's keep it funky here, okay? It's a lot of men. It's a lot of men. It ain't, it ain't women. It ain't just women no more. It's a lot of men out here. It's gold diggers. Out here looking for women with good jobs, great stability. And they out here... Trapping them with babies, marrying them, doing all them kind of things just to get a level up. And I never say that. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. I say let's keep it real. The person can be funky as hell. Yeah, what they haunted ass and that nine towards energy. Got a nerd to be fishing in somebody's comments. Worrying about some offer that's coming in for you. <laughs> if you want to <laughs> I'm not playing. Yeah, this was somebody. Yeah, boy. I told you. Somebody's getting bad karma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Acting cold. They can act cold they want towards you. But that karma over there kicking their ass. Yeah, this person was fake flexing. Okay, wanted to this person could be very materialistic. Somebody didn't want to work for it. They just see somebody else's lifestyle. I was like, oh, I want that lifestyle too, but I don't want to put the work in. Yeah. Somebody is leaving them behind and going towards true love. And look at you. Okay, what put your lipstick on? Phase and song. You just odd phase. Okay. Poppy don't even know what the hell is going on. Yeah, because you see people at these people are groupies. <sighs> somebody gonna be so hurt. Look at how they look. Look at the card. <sighs> So, after a messy situation, something beautiful come out of it. And that's what it's given me. I told you, somebody hold a grudge. I told you. 
Somebody holding a grudge against a boss. <laughs> Somebody holding a grudge against a boss. And no shade, like I said. No shade, no shade. But sometimes, you know, cancers, y'all be holding grudges, okay? That queen of cups. <laughs> yeah, shine. Your light irritates their demons. Or somebody feel like you're holding a grudge against them, which I doubt it. Very. An empress don't hold a grudge. What's a grudge? We won't even know what a grudge is. Okay? You can literally... I don't... I ain't even gonna get into it. All I'm gonna say is empress don't hold grudges. We don't know what a grudge is. That's our problem. <laughs> but it's also a beautiful thing as well. We don't know how to hold a grudge. We could forgive you. Don't have to deal with you ever again like that. But grudge? You can't even sit that word in a dictionary next to empress we do not know what a grudge is <laughs> yeah but somebody's into you yeah somebody is being haunted about not taking action about the things that they have done yeah look i cannot make it up to you start the idol love respected admired idolized and fear Shine, your light irritates their demons. Look, somebody gonna be pissed the hell off when they see you happy as hell. Ooh. Damn. This person could be watching a lot of readings, trying to find out information about you. Possibly could have went to a tarot reader to get information about you. Yup. Yeah. 266 could be significant. A rose. Yeah, somebody's trying to get information about this connection. Mm hmm Yeah, dodging bullets and karmic friends. Somebody gonna realize they karmic friends, the same people that ask for help, set them up. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And you out here dodging bullets. Look at this. I want you back. Want you back. Caught a case. Extra triggered. In their head. Moving on. Thank you. Next. This person was like, you know what? All right, sassy. <laughs> All right, sassy. Too shit. Somebody like, whoever this crazy ass comic is, get him away. Get him away. <laughs> What's that? Um? What's that? Um? Damn, what's that, um, that song? What's the, um, it's not even a song. I think that's a, actually a cartoon. Man, what's the name of that cartoon? I would have to ask my son. What's the way? Get him away! Get away! <laughs> get him away! Get, 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 get him away! <laughs> somebody, somebody is trying to run from a crazy ass comic. They like it for safety. Save me, Empress, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> yeah, but somebody come and tell you the truth, so I see you. Mm. Whew, something you manifest the baby. Still to just slide. Mm. Yeah, but somebody who was once the runner is now about to be the chaser. Okay, they all that. <laughs> You want it, eh. right? Sunsees. Well, Sunsees, I love you guys so very much. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity in your situation. Let's get one message from the higher self before we close this out. Let's give me one call, Holy Spirit, from the higher self before we close this out. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you before we close this out. Oh, that came out quick. My life is one big mess, and I'm working hard to fix it so I can be free. Please be patient with me. I doubt this relationship because you are too good to be true. Mm. Spirit. I'm ready to open my heart up and have a honest conversation with you. Wasn't that about the whole reading? So... The reason why he wasn't in communication with this person, the reason why this person wasn't talking to you, reaching out to you, because this person's life was one big mess that they had to clear up in order to set themselves free, okay, from possibly getting themselves in a karmic cycle. Um, somebody felt like you were just too good to be true. 
empress. They 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 never seen anything like an empress. They ain't never. They might heard of. Oh, hey queen, hey king, hey how you doing, queen king? But they ain't know that it was level to the shit. It was levels, levels. You surpass every queen. You been through all the challenges. It's hard as heck to get to an empress energy. And it's even harder to stay there. And with the Queen of Cups, to have compassion towards people that wronged you, knowing that the battle is not yours, not holding grudges, seeing things from a higher perspective, understanding why things happen, knowing that it's not, it's not just, you know, it's not just happening to you for no God thought reason. Somebody understands the assignment. I love you, Empress. Emperor. Okay. Yeah, that's that king and queen of wands. Our sexual chemistry is off the hook. When we are intimate, it feels like I am hot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so please, I love you guys so very much. And so we get up next time. Anything you know about me will be in the description box. Later.